Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for a rapid fire video. Five things I wish I knew about wet shaving before I got started. Number five, don't chase BBS. First off, what is BBS? Baby butt smooth, baby butt smooth, as smooth as a baby's butt. Why are you chasing this? Why are you trying to go for this super, super close shave and you're grinding away in five different ways of shaving and you put a laser on your face after you're done and you, you're trying to go for this just perfect thing like a cotton ball can touch it and nothing gets stuck, why? And you're done and you have all this irritation and you got ingrown hairs and you're bloody and you spend a million dollars on shaving products, why? Why are you doing it? Go for par, guys, go for par. Get a good, close, clean, comfortable shave. The BBS thing for a lot of guys is a myth. It can't, it just, it's unobtainable. It's unobtainable. Instead, go for par, go for a clean, close, comfortable, smooth shave that leaves you irritation free. You'll be happier, you'll look better. Everyone will notice, hey, you're looking good, you're smelling good, what changed? But the BBS thing, ugh, don't try chasing it. If you can get it, wonderful. We applaud you for the rest of us. Screw you. <laughs> Just kidding, kind of. Number four, don't worry about the lingo. You'll learn it in time. Lingo, what are you talking about? Well, if you spend any time on a chat room, a Facebook page or whatever, Instagram post about shaving, you're gonna see things like YMMV, SOTD, DFS, BBS, what are all these terms? I don't know, I feel not included. I have to leave this community because I don't know what they're talking about. It's okay, I'm here to explain a few of them. Your mileage may vary, meaning products that work for some guys don't work for other guys. A DFS, a damn fine shave. A BBS, a baby butt smooth shave. An SOTD, a shave of the day. Guys, these are just little ways of, 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 of people taking these you know, concepts and terms and shorting them up. And once you learn them, you'll use them and now you'll be the cool kid in the club. But if you don't know them at first, don't worry. You'll learn them in time. And I accept you. Number three, the prep is more important than the product. Well, kind of. <laughs> but seriously, I always comment that sitting here in a studio having to quickly wash my face with you know cold water and I didn't have a shower and I'm trying to do it on uh, with a t-shirt on it's horrible and it's true it really is not the best my favorite shaves are after I take a nice hot shower use a face soap maybe use an exfoliating uh, you know washcloth in the shower and get out and the shower you know room is still steamy and I can make that lather and put on a beautiful pre-shave product first right all that's true Prep, prep, prep. Whenever I'm talking to people about you know, shaving problems or they're having irritation, I say, what is your prep? Give me surprised. Some of these guys, well, they, well, I bought, I bought the $1,500 badger brush and I got the $7,000 razor and the, the million dollar soap. Why can't I get a good shave? Well, what's your, what's your prep like, sir? Well, I don't, I don't know. I just, I go in the bathroom, just, I just go, I shave. Okay, slow down. Prep your face, spend more time prepping than shaving. Seriously, two minute prep, three minute prep, two minute shave. Seriously, it can be done, five minutes. I've done it before, go watch that video. Number two, you can make the switch slowly. No one in your bathroom is judging you, no one cares. If you have to use a double-edged razor for just your cheeks and then you're, you're going back to electric razor for your neck or cartridge razor because you're comfortable, cool. Take, take your time. Get in that pool nice and slow. Put your foot in first. You don't have to jump right in. Some people want to do this whole, you know, I'm like a clean cut, like they're like they're, they're getting away from a bad addiction. Like, oh, I'm, I'm done with cartridges. I threw them out the window. Well, hold on. Maybe as you're getting started, you need to have some of those familiar products, familiar tools uh, to help you make this transition into wet shaving, especially with a straight razor. Let's say you're doing straight razor shaving and you're trying to do your cheeks and all of a sudden it comes to your chin or your neck. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. It's okay, reach for the double edge, reach for the cartridge razor, reach for the electric, whatever has been your comfort food and get through it. And in time, you'll learn to navigate your whole face and you'll be proficient all over. So take your time, no one is judging you. And number one, get started. I know it sounds so basic, you're like, what, what Matt? Number one is get started, yes. I have met more people who come in my lobby 
who email, who phone call, who email, who Instagram, whatever. Carrier pigeon drops off their letter. And they tell me, Matt, Matt, I've got, I've got paralysis analysis. Analysis by paralysis. I have been researching for six months wet shaving, and I have to find the holy grail of brush, and I have to find the best double-edged razor ever made, and this is the only thing I'm ever going to use. False. Just get started. I'm a guitar player, and this is like saying that for your very first guitar rig, you should have a $10,000 amp and guitar and pedals. No! Go down to Guitar Center and buy the cheap Squire, right? Just... Just get started. Buy a decent badger brush. Buy a decent silk. Parasso. Get Parasso everything. Mercur Razor, Edwin Jagger, whatever. Parker. Just dive in. Get started. Because what's going to happen is as you learn it, as you start to love it, you will naturally research and find other ones and you'll try and experiment. And it'll be a whole process to learn and develop what you like. It's not going to be like you're going to start with the best and never try anything else. That is so silly. I don't know a single wet shaver out there that has one razor and one soap and one brush. We all have a few of each. Even if you found the one you, that you love, that you always reach for, you always have your old favorite, you know, kind of girlfriend on the side that every once in a while you look at, you say, oh, haven't been with you for a while. <laughs> but seriously, dive in, get started, have fun. It's easier than you think. Don't delay, act today, let's get started. <laughs> Get started in wet shaving, and I think you'll love it just as much as we do. That's number one. I hope you've enjoyed this five things you didn't know about wet shaving that I didn't know and I wish I would have known before I got started. If you liked today's video, please share it with somebody who needs to hear this message. Subscribe to our channel, click the bell to notify you every time we put a new video out, and leave a comment about what you should have learned. What's number six, guys? What did I leave out? What should you have known ahead of time before you started wet shaving? I want to know. Put a comment below. If you leave a comment, you are entered in to win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys. <laughs>